Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're unable to display the current owner on your Windows computer. So when you have the owner's box that says that you're attempting to take ownership and it says unable to display current owner, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to basically go ahead and try and allow full access to authenticated users. And in order to do that, we're going to actually go ahead and locate the file we're having the problems with. So let's say I open up File Explorer here. It doesn't really matter which file or folder. I mean, I'm just going to get you guys to an example. I'm going to go underneath my local disk. So let's say underneath Users, MD Tech. Let's say my Downloads folder. So I'm going to right click on it, and then I'm going to go left click on Properties. And then I'm going to left click on the Security tab over on the right. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and left click on the advanced button down here. So on Windows 10, you want to go left click on this change button right here. On Windows 7, you want to go ahead and left click on the change permissions button right down here. On Windows 8 or Windows 10, there should be a button that says change right here. You want to left click on this change. Again, depends what version of Windows you're running. Same principle will apply. Now you want to left click on this advanced button that comes up underneath select user or group. Now that you've done that, you want to left click on Find Now. It should be something that says Authenticated Users. So I'm going to expand this here. Authenticated Users, now that we've selected that, you want to left click on OK. Now you want to left click on OK again. So now if we go ahead and double click on any of these, you want to make sure all of them have full control and you can always go underneath show advanced permissions if you, there are grayed out options but you want to make sure full control is enabled for all of them and then you just go left click on OK so pretty straightforward So that should be pretty straightforward. And at this point, I'm going to just left click on Apply and OK. It says if you're just taking ownership of this object, you will need to close and reopen this object's properties before you can view or change permissions. Left click on OK. We're just restarting your computer, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.